I go to the movies. What? And it's a daytime movie. Which means it is the kids movie. You know? And uh, this movie, it is uh, another animes. They're showing lots of animes now. And uh, this movie, it was called... Oh, I saw it at the Regal. Yeah. Saw it at the Regal. And it was called... Bell. Ring the bell. So, uh... Yeah. So... This movie... It had lots of songs. And, uh... I saw the subtitled version. I probably should have saw the dubbed version of this one. The subtitled version didn't, uh... Bother me with... Panopoly... Chimney Town. I like that movie better than Bell, by the way. But, um... So, in this this movie... It's kind of interesting. It's got themes of, you know... Social media. Kind of like... What, what Facebook's trying to do with the metaverse. You know, you have a world you go into. Kind of like, uh... Ready Player One. You know, that sort of thing. Where you kind of get put into this digital world. And you get to be whatever you want to be. And, uh... So this girl, she is unsure of herself. She used to sing with her mom. But the sad happens. And she no longer sings anymore. So... She goes into this world and she immediately starts singing. She becomes like the most famous singer in the world. In this fake world. And everybody's like, ooh, I wonder who that is. Ooh, you know, all this sort of thing. Because you don't know who it is. And then, when you know it, the scary guy comes. <laughs> and, and this guy's called the dragon. So I thought maybe there'd be like some sort of bell and the dragon theme. That's like a deleted scene from the Bible. But it had nothing to do with that. I was kind of surprised that it wasn't called the bell and the dragon. They probably didn't do it because they found out there's like a sort of pseudo Bible story about it. But I don't actually know why. But the movie really is... Trying to have a Beauty and the Beast motif. Like, they like, it's almost like they're recreating some shots from that Disney, famous Disney Beauty and the Beast ballroom scene. <laughs> that sort of thing. So, I mean, it's an obvious homage, I guess you could say. But, so. I have to say, I didn't really like this song, or this, uh, this movie very much. I mean, it was real melodramatic, you know? It was super, super intense emotionally, but there was a disconnect where I didn't, I didn't feel any of it, I guess you could say. It didn't get me at all. That Panopoly and the Chimney City movie, I think, was a far superior movie. Although this movie is far more pretty it's it's beautiful the things they were doing with you know having millions of things on the screen at once and all that it was like it was really well done but uh the whole i mean there's probably people that identify with this movie bell a lot you know probably the teenage girls I'm guessing that's really what the movie... The movie's made for, like, teenage girls. And it didn't catch me. And I didn't think it, any of the songs were particularly catchy or good, you know? There's a big uh, moment towards the end where she stops singing words. She's just uh, singing this melody. And, like, the whole world joins in sort of thing. And that, I mean, that that's a good uh, musical. It's it's got a good movement or whatever, you know. And it's a emotion. It's an emotional melody. There's no real words to. It. I think it's supposed to be like her feelings, 
and like it's like oh we all feel this way it's like sort of thing but, <laughs> so i mean that was pretty i guess that's that's the thing about this movie is like it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty visually it's pretty sonically with your ear holes i didn't find it to be intellectually stimulating at all like that panoply chimney city movie i saw but this is an interesting thing that the world's gonna have to be dealing with the whole disappearing into a digital self an avatar sort of thing and and how that's gonna be a weird uh juxtaposition between your actual life and how you feel about yourself in one place opposed to the other that might happen for some people playing video games and stuff now that doesn't i never consider myself to be the person in the game when i'm playing video games i don't play first person shooters though either because uh they make me motion sick i think it's because my left eye is different than my right eye so but I don't know but all in all you know that's just my opinion and my opinion doesn't matter and your opinion doesn't matter we just put our opinions on the internet you know it's what we do as a culture and no one knows why we do it but we can't seem to stop so <laughs> those are my thoughts and opinions thrown on top of the pile soon to be buried by everybody else's for what it's worth, I thought the movie was pretty, but it wasn't for me.